another lesson from this one, this same point number three. You don't see far enough. Write it down. You don't see far enough. Oh, pastor, don't worry. I have, I've done all the analysis. I've, done, I've thought about it, everything. No, no, you don't see far enough. Not only are you not wise enough, you don't see far enough. You don't see far enough. Lord, look, the Bible said he looked. He didn't take the decision with his eyes closed. Hello? Lord did not take the decision with his eyes closed. He looked very well. Very, very well. But the reality is that no matter how much you look, you can't see far. Tell your neighbor, don't let your eyes deceive you. Don't let your eyes deceive you. The person that is rich today may be poor tomorrow. The person that is poor today may be rich tomorrow. The situation that looks bad today may become sweet tomorrow. One of the passages that helps me as a Christian and I go to it from time to time. It's Revelation 22, verse 11 to 14. It says, don't worry. Let the wicked continue to do wicked. Let the just continue to do just. They behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall. I always encourage myself with that passage. I say, okay. Well, let life go on. And God, you will settle the matter. There is a God of mercy in heaven. <laughs> if only you allow him to choose for you. Rise on your feet and cry to God. Give me the grace to choose wisely. Cry to him. Give me the grace to choose wisely. Abraham did not butter the fight. Abraham did not struggle. Give me the grace to choose wisely. There is a God. There is a God of mercy. Don't worry. He will settle the case. God will settle the matter. Give me the grace to choose wisely. Give me the grace to choose wisely. I am not wise enough to make the decision. Your mercy is all that I need. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed.